Thucydides was an ancient Greek historian, and his most popular work is the history of the Peloponnesian War. He was born in Athens around 460 BC and passed away around 395 BC. He participated in the Athenian army in the Peloponnesian War as a commander, which was the largest war in the Balkans in the 5th century BC, and it was between Sparta and Athens. From the aspect of the subject we're covering, it is without doubt that this ancient author too considered the Macedonians as a separate nation to the Greeks. While writing about the borders in which the Hellens lived, Thucydides writes, For instance, it is evident that the country now called Hellas had in ancient times no settled population. On the contrary, migrations were of frequent occurrence, the several tribes readily abandoning their homes under the pressure of superior numbers the richest soils were always most subject to this change of masters, such as the district now called Thessaly, Boeotia, most of the Peloponnese, Arcadia, excepted, and the most fertile parts of the rest of Hellas. We can see that Macedonia was not even mentioned in the list of Hellenic countries. In the same work, Thucydides treated the Macedonians as barbarians, which means people that didn't speak the Greek language. While describing the Athenian army in a battle of the Peloponnesian War, Thucydides writes that it consisted of Hellens and barbarians, non-Greeks that were on Athens' side. He lists which people gave their military to aid the Athenians, here we read. Of Hellenes, he had in his army Ambraciots, Lucadians, and Actorians, and the thousand Peloponnesians whom he brought with him. Of barbarians, a thousand Chaonians, who, having no king, were led by Photius and Nicanor. With the Chaonians came the Thesprotians who, like them, have no king. A Molossian and Atintanian force was led by Sabilinthus, the guardian of Tharipus, the king, who was still a minor. The Paravanians were led by their king Orodius and were accompanied by a thousand Oristians placed at the disposal of Oredos by their king Antiochus. Perdiccas also, unknown to the Athenians, sent a thousand Macedonians who arrived too late. This is strong evidence that the Greeks at the time, including Thucydides, did not consider the Macedonians as their fellow countrymen, which is opposite of what the present day Greek propaganda claims. The work Suda represents a combination of a lexicon and an encyclopedia, which was created by the Byzantine literates, whose identity remains unknown in the 10th century. In Suda, around 30,000 words are presented with detailed biographical, historical and linguistic information, mainly about the ancient authors. It is known that in the ancient times, there was a historian called Suidas, who is mentioned in the works of Strabo, Apollonium of Rhodos, and Stephan of Byzantium. But it is unknown if this is precisely the author of the lexicon. The words in the Suda lexicon are classified alphabetically. Here, 
Many words that were written in the works of many ancient authors are present. But there is a large number of personal names and toponyms present as well. Comments about the presented words can also be found here. But most of them are extracts from the ancient text, but their source is rarely given. In the Suda there is also proof for the non-Greek Macedonian character. In the interpretation of the word kausia, a type of a Macedonian hat, in Suda, the unknown ancient Greek author writes that it was, quote, a kind of a barbarian covering for the head. Because it is well known that this hat was made and used by the Macedonians, it is clear that this Greek author considered the Macedonians as barbarians, non-Greek speaking people.